goodness. Officer, please, come quickly. Bonjour, mademoiselle. How can I... Uh... It has become a madhouse. Madame has been shouting and cursing all morning. I've never seen her so angry. But what great luck to happen upon you. Please, try to remain calm. Uh, first, may I ask your name? We don't have time for that. Please, hurry. Mademoiselle, now we are here, I must insist on your name before I can continue any further. I am Officer Hercule Poirot. I am Elizabeth, but it is the maid servant that we must consider. Forgive me, Officer, but are you new to the area? I stand out so obviously. I mean no offence, only I have not seen you before. This is a small town, and you learn everyone's faces very quickly. Very observant of you, Mademoiselle. Oui, I was recently posted here from the city. And a good thing I am here now. Let us get to the bottom of this madness you speak of. There has been a theft at the house. Then I am exactly where I should be, n'est-ce pas? It is only one of Mademoiselle Angeline's most valuable bracelets taken from her room. Then its safe return is of the utmost importance. Madame Van den Bosch, the lady of the house, believes Florette is behind it. I'm afraid I do. I know Madame is confident of Florette's guilt, but she wouldn't do such a thing. Surely a burglar is responsible, as Mademoiselle believes. Merci, Mademoiselle. Your assistance has been invaluable. beginning to become clearer. Of 
course, officer. How can I help? One set must be mine, leaving to find you. The other set must be Florette's. She was caught in the rain this morning. There is, sir. Luke. But he was called away from the house on a personal matter. Rahana, our cook, accompanied him. Merci, mademoiselle. Your assistance has been invaluable. Aha. I should not be surprised by my own skills of deduction. Another success. I never doubted myself. I guess I would say a moment of genius. Officer, how can I help? Excuse me, officer? The carving on the bench. Forgive me, I was not suggesting anything untoward. Oh, of course not. Yes, <laughs> I suppose there must be. Would you know the identity of the mysterious L and E? I'm afraid not. Perhaps they were old residents. A pair of star cross lovers, perhaps. Madame does not allow distracting staff relationships. Love is not something that can be harnessed so easily. That is Madame's rule, and I wouldn't want to be the one that challenges her on it. Merci, Mademoiselle. Hmm. 
magnifique. What a revelation! I have conducted my initial inspection of the house and grounds. It is now necessary for me to speak with those in the house. Of course. Thank you, officer. I'm sure Madame Van den Bosch will be happy to hear the police are investigating. Commanding officer, I requested. No, dear madame, I am Officer Hercule Poirot. I can assure you that I... This will simply not do. I sent Elizabeth to bring me a competent lawman. And that is what she has brought, madame. Now, I would like to continue my investigation. You understand correctly. It is my daughter's bracelet. It is a rather expensive piece. And valuable to your daughter, no doubt. It was a gift. Yes, it was from her late father, my husband, the Viscount. And it has not gone missing. It was stolen. I do not believe so. I know so. It was Florette, the maidservant. I knew I could not trust her. And why is that? Because I don't. I do not need to explain myself any further, especially to a measly officer. Hmm. Don't be ridiculous. I have told you who is guilty. If there had been a break-in, surely it would be your job to stop them. If it was the case, of course, madame. Although I cannot predict a burglar's movement. Perhaps then you have proved me right, and you aren't the competent officer I require. Merci, madame. You have been most helpful. Thank you. 
Pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. Really, officer, you are wasting both your time and mine. Only if you are prepared to take Florette away. It is an offense to incarcerate someone without suitable proof of misdeeds. I must question Mademoiselle Florette to gather her version of events. If you will not do your duty and lock her up, then I must. She shall remain there, and I, the keyholder, until she is led from the room in handcuffs. And what is your point? May I ask of the subject? You may not. Honestly, your prying is getting on my last nerve. Merci, madame. You have been most helpful. Mademoiselle Elizabeth, I hope you are feeling less distressed now. I can assure you I shall find the guilty party and the bracelet. Thank you, officer. Yes. All I want is for Florette to be heard. Bien sûr. Rest assured, she will get the fair trial she deserves. I wonder if you could help me with some questions regarding the house. Of course. Whatever I can do to help. When I left, Madame was with Florette in there. Surely she would not have locked her in. It must have been an accident. Madame Vandenbosch should not be deciding her fate. Would you grant me access to speak with her? I would, sir, but I don't have the key. There is a spare somewhere, though. Oh, how awful the thought of her locked in there. Do you have any thoughts as to where I may find it? I'm sorry. Madame does not trust the staff with such knowledge, even me. Although I did overhear her once say it was hidden somewhere, close to her heart. Whatever that means. Merci, mademoiselle. Your assistance has been invaluable. The pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. Certainly, officer. Madame is the one with the refined taste. Angeline and I are much more partial to a simple love story. Aren't we all? Romeo and Juliet, the most famous of love stories. <laughs> I do enjoy it so. The passion, the romance. It gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. Madame has a copy, upstairs in the main hall. Merci, mademoiselle. You're a...